This episode of Strange Love brought to you by Treasure Licious. Good evening. This is Strange Love, and I'm your host, Cami Chaos. Welcome, babies. Good evening and welcome to Strange Love After Hours. I'm your host, Cammie Chaos, and as always, I'm joined by Dr. Normal. Hello, you don't have to sound so dour. (laughs) It's after hours. Uh, Yeah, that's a downtime. It's after hours. And this week's special guest is Craig from Toonlit. Hello. Wait. Well, yeah, you can play that because if you're just joining us now, it's really important to me that you go to toonlit.com slash static slash holiday put, card 08 dr normal is going to put it in the chat room if you haven't already been there you just need to go there with, with apologies from him i'm not see. i'm not apologizing <laughs> i'm a little i'm not sure whether i'm like you know horrified or man this is crappy totally excited and music. jazzed and like Whoa! <laughs> this was supposed to be really cool christmas rug. music and it's like really boring so it is. Get something else going. So, what would people find at the static, uh, uh, static slash holiday 08? A couple of gentlemen lounging around with 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 animals. <laughs> On a bearskin rug. <laughs> bearskin. I don't actually have the bearskin rug. Only Seth gets the bearskin rug. He's special that way. Yeah, I'm on the cold, cold floor. That's very sad. It's a good thing you have that <laughs> little dog to <laughs> keep me warm. <laughs> keep you warm. <laughs> Ah, goodness. What's up with all the Christmas music, Dr. Normal? I don't know. I'm just trying to get in the holiday spirit, man. (laughs) Yeah, so for those of you who are not familiar with the phenomenon that I call Dr. Normal on vacation, you can go to the Strange Love Live site and read the tune that I wrote on it. It was 100% accurate. It's a great tune. Yeah, it's very, very accurate. I, I, yeah. (laughs) <laughs> I can't I can't stress enough that Dr. Normal is now on vacation officially as of five o'clock today. Dr. Normal is on vacation for the rest of the year. I'm envious. Yeah, except uh, I got a couple things I gotta finish up at work <laughs> over the weekend. <laughs> yeah, that's always fun. Yeah. So okay, aside from the couple things that you have to finish up for work and um, producing this show and producing Did you introduce next our guest show? I did, didn't yeah. I? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I did. Good. Craig, too. Just wanna yeah. make sure. Just want to make sure because, you know, we're talking about You know about what? Me. Here's the thing. But that's what the show is all about. When you came downstairs and you said, what are you guys going to talk about? I said, we're going to talk about Doctor Who. <laughs> about me. And you said, you're not going to lead with Doctor Who, are you? Don't lead with Doctor and Who. Said, we're so sick of I Doctor said, Who. No. Lead with Doctor Normal. So, I exactly. I led with Doctor Normal instead of <laughs> Doctor Who. We just talked about something different. And as soon as you tell me we're done talking about the other thing, then Craig and I can move on to decorating the tree <laughs> and talking about Doctor Who. What? What other thing? Well, when we're done talking about this... Let's uh, talk about Snowpocalypse. Okay, I apologize to everybody because I really wanted snow. So for a week before we had snow, I decided I would wear my snow boots until the snow came. And then the snow kept coming and and it's like little tiny poops of snow. (laughs) But it's enough to throw the entire city of Portland into a frenzy. We got it. And all the west side schools were closed for a whole week, an entire week. Was it the whole week? For the west side, yes. Wow. And most private schools. Um, the east side schools were closed three out of five days. They had two days of school this week. Pretty good to be a kid this week. Yeah, Tuesday and Thursday. Pretty good to be a kid. Pretty insane to be a parent. <laughs> yeah. A lot more of your kid around, I guess. And as a byproduct of Snowpocalypse... Uh, we have our child's classroom hamster at our house. <laughs> oh, man. We were prepared oh, to man. accept the classroom hamster for a weekend. We have Wait. two cats, and now there's a <laughs> hamster locked upstairs. They give you this Those paper. Are like natural enemies. Yeah. I know. Yeah, they give you this, this And my paper. weather cam is now going to turn into a hamster cam. It's going to be the Bubba cam. I'm, I'm also going to convert my blog for the two weeks that the Bubba the hamster is living with us <laughs> to, to Bubba Watch. <laughs> and all of my blog posts, instead of writing about ridiculous holiday stuff, are going to be about Bubba the hamster <laughs> and whether or not he's still alive. Hopefully the cats will not eat him. And to make things worse, this hamster is a notorious escape artist. 
Yeah, it got free at someone's house once, and it also got free at the school, got out of the classroom, and they found it in another classroom. Oh. Uh, so they bought him a new cage and sent home with me not only Bubba the hamster and Bubba the hamster's cage and his whatever the shredding lighting a stuff hamster. is. And food for, for Bubba. Have I mentioned we have two cats? And his little wheelie ball that he can run around the house in. Oh, and those his, are kind of fun. Yeah, they are. And his flying spaceship. I've already had to tell my daughter, you're not allowed to spin Bubba in the ball. It'd be fun to have like a... <laughs> He'll work. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, he's going to totally yak in his ball. It'd be a is holiday to remember. Of the, does it like, come with a cord that you're supposed no, to... No, no, no. Oh, she, 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 she just grabbed it by the top <laughs> and just <laughs> spun, spun it. Like it. Like and a... I was like, oh, he's going to puke, okay? <laughs> spun it like a holiday dreidel. Yeah, just don't... <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't want to clean up hamster bark. No. Um, and, and a second, a fully second cage that had not yet been put together. Oh, man. So I spent, and the cage was smarter than me. I, I spent an hour putting together a hamster's cage today. This, and, and hamsters, like they, they are pretty crafty escape artists. They are. It was uh, about a year ago, actually, uh, before the before the site was live. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I was looking after uh, Seth and Missy's hamster, the, the, the founder, other founder of Toon yeah. and, and his wife. And um, uh, the, the cage disintegrated on the walk home with it. Mm-hmm. And uh, and the hamster got out a little bit, and he got out again at my house, caught yeah. him, and I made a series of comics about it. But mm-hmm. uh, it was it was a happy ending. He made it home safely, thankfully. Is but, it still uh, alive? Uh, sadly, no. Yeah, they don't yeah. last very long. This hamster is Bubba number two for the oh. school year. <laughs> but luckily, they were honest with the kids about the fact that this is another Bubba. Oh, they. Yeah, I guess yeah. it's an important lesson. All the kids were like, well, you didn't have to tell us. He looks just like the other Bubba. <laughs> yeah. So that's actually how I'm going to be spending Dr. Mo's vacation, is by trying to keep two cats from killing a hamster that has oh, to go yeah. back to school in one piece in, in 16 days. Has the hamster been in the ball yet? Uh-huh. And how, how did the cats react to that? Oh, I don't let the cats. Uh-huh. We, have, we have an upstairs, and there's a large room upstairs, and we just close the door. So the hamster is currently living in the room upstairs with the okay. door closed, where the cats normally like to lounge and recreate. It's kind of like their, you know, uh, game room. So they'll, they'll get, they're going to hate that hamster personally, yeah. more yeah. than just like an interspecies hatred. Yes, it's because it's it's managed to oust them from their game room. <laughs> I let them in for about half an hour today until uh, Spike started making bird calls at the hamster. The hamster Ooh. cage was up on a shelf and... It started making this obnoxious throaty bird call at the hamster. Oh. I think trying to lure the thing down, and I'm not so much worried that they're going to try to get it and eat it, but that they're going to give the hamster a heart attack. Yeah, they can do that. Yeah. Having a big predator in your face, yeah, Even so, it can't hurt you. Yeah, so I'm I scared. had to. Yeah, the cats are not going to like it, and if Bubba if Bubba lives, I'm just going to be thankful. <laughs> just oh, so thankful that that little hamster, that red eyed hamster. That has its very own rocket ship. Have you have you ever known a hamster to have its own alien spacecraft? No, most of them get tubes. Yeah, this one has a tube, a spinny wheel on its cage, and uh, and then another like weird alien looking device on top, and a little spaceship inside. That's pretty cool. Yeah, he's a spoiled little hamster. Yeah, I guess so. Wow. So yeah, can we talk about <laughs> Doctor Who yet? Yeah, Doctor, Doctor Who. Doctor Who has got to be more fascinating than Bubba the Hamster. Well, I don't know. I I just yeah, I just had this bad image of a Christmas image of you know a dead carcass of a rodent being drug around by the uh, by the cats, you know, and trying to explain you know the cycles of life to our six year old, <laughs> okay. and she's crying, you know. Well, first of all, Craig, look a new do Barbie. You, do you have here. a strange love button? I don't. Look now, you do. Oh, I'll put it on right now. And then. And then we're going to put strange love buttons on the strange love live holiday tree Excellent. with our little glow in the dark baby angels and our blue balls and our red fuzzy marabou <laughs> and our David Tennant tree topper. So just, you know, find a way to shove those things on somehow. Okay. So, so, uh, Dr. Who, uh, David Tennant or, uh, Christopher Eccleston or one of the other ones. Well, <laughs> there's so many previous to, you know, there's the there's the two thousands doctors, which is Eccleson and 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 uh, David Tennant, and they you know one of them is gone and one of them's going to be gone soon. Yeah. So you were telling me uh, during the break that you just now in the last few months started 
partaking of Doctor Who. I am a very recent Doctor Who convert, and mm -hmm. it's not for for you know twenty years or so of of friends. Gosh, it'd be twenty five of you know friends telling me that I should be watching Doctor Who, and uh, me being appalled by the uh, the fact that I'm looking at what appears to be a telephone box and some weird looking. Yeah. Uh, did you ever Dalek. watch Doctor Who? I did you not. Kid? You know, oh. I had like you know, I grew up a nerd, so I was supposed to, and I had yeah. all my friends yeah. were. Oh gosh, <laughs> the sonic screwdriver. Yes, very nice. Yeah, so all my friends were like, "You should be watching Doctor Who. You should be watching The Prisoner. They're on, uh, you know, PBS. Watch them." Mm -hmm. and I think I was, I was maybe, uh, it was the the production values. You know, after after you see Star Wars, yeah, you can't watch Doctor Who, and and. Uh, and the prisoner. I don't know if you guys have seen that. It's another fantastic yeah. BBC series. Mm -hmm. um, the, the 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 like big technological nemesis is a bouncy ball. A ball. Yeah. yeah. So it's it, it was kind of hard for me to wrap my my preteen head around it. And uh, I oh, gave, it's I just gave a, the effects and everything. And, uh, yeah, yeah, which yeah. is which is a really shallow reason to not watch something. But I, I eventually caught around. Although I still haven't gone and caught up the original episodes. Do they hold up? Should I should I watch them? It's they're different. I think I think you would enjoy them as an adult. I think they're very enjo enjoyable as a they teen. Have they have special will not. effects. Um, but yeah, it's it's different. The the new Doctor Who has better special effects. Although they did base a lot of the villains off of the originals and tried to pay homage to them and, and make them as accurate as possible without being too silly. Hmm. Yeah, I like it. So, yeah, you were saying, because I, I watched them all in rapid succession, but yes. I stopped it at season four. Is that, is that where it ends? Um, my, season my four. Now, what's going to happen is overseas, they are going to get a holiday special. Every year, they've done a holiday special, and I think... Verso can correct me on the details. I believe we get three and a half more episodes with David Tennant. And then it's... But they're like long episodes. They're like specials or something. Oh, okay. So one of them is going to be the holiday special. Dr. Normal, Cammy you just, Cass, just would shut you up. like to do a spin-off podcast called Cammy Cass's Doctor Who Hour? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, maybe I should do that. Did you point out our tree topper? I think everyone's seen the yeah, holiday tree topper. Doctor Who. David Tennant. With the Dr. tree Who. up his ass. It's <laughs> up his coat. His ass. Coat. And the uh, hamster upstairs is named Lemmy Winks. <laughs> anyway, so moving on. I just got it. So is it snowing? I mean, is it just like a bunch of crap? I mean, Was what is wrong Was it snowing when you were on your way here, here Craig? Uh, it was not. I think actually, right as I got out of the car, it it had just started lightly. Mm -hmm. So I didn't. I don't know what it's like now. Hopefully, hopefully navigable. Yeah, this is this is the thing, and this is a new thing, a new feature. Being a parent, this is very important to me. Oh, I thought you were Portland. talking about the podcast. No, it's like no, the the Portland public videos and ads with, and all sorts they, of crap. They going have on. now set up this automatic phone call system where if the schools are going to be closed, they'll call you. To let you know. That's kind of nice. And they call you at work, and they text you, mm -hmm. and they find you. So they called me the other morning. And they throw you down on the ground and choke you and go, <laughs> there is no school Well, no, no, no. I was very, kid. I was very, like, very angry you, because on PPS. Tuesday morning, on Tuesday morning, I got a phone call at 6 o'clock, which is 45 minutes earlier than I would normally get up to get my daughter to school, <laughs> to let me know that schools on the west side were closed, but schools on the east side should report oh. as normal. And I was like, you woke me up 45 so they, minutes early? They woke to you up to tell, tell you that your daughter's yeah. going to school. I was, I was not very, very happy. Yeah. However, this morning... When I got the phone call at 6 o'clock to tell me that my daughter was not going to school, I just shut my alarm clock off and <laughs> curled up in a little cloud and said, yes, I love snow. Snow is wonderful. And there's no snow. you got to love the fact that Portland really can't accommodate even a tiny little bit of snow. No. It's like, oh, we might have some snow. Ah, it's and I was, a I was, flake. I was right there with him. I was this close to, to Skyping in the podcast tonight because I was scared. We're so glad I'm that you're to be here. On the road. We're Me too. so glad that you're here because last time you were far, far away, yeah. getting ready to go play your Wii games. <laughs> rock band. It's oh, rock, rock band. band. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. So I what still are you playing now? Rock band. What are you playing um, over the holidays? I really haven't been playing much the past month, but I've got uh, I I've got Fable, uh, which I played a bunch of. I need to go and finish, and uh, Fallout Three. Um, uh, Dead Space, which was kind of, I uh, haven't haven't really 
hasn't grabbed me yet. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's, yeah, I just haven't, haven't had the time really, but, uh, I'm not playing my Wii nearly as much. No, but that's going to change next week. I haven't played the Wii in a long time and just because I have not had time and, uh, now I'm going to get on that Wii and so here's the thing you say, you say that's going to change next week and it's like this cruel taunting thing because you know what I want for, for Christmas I'm not going to stand in line again. And so it's kind of like, oh, that'll change next week because you're on vacation or because yeah. you're going to get me what I want. What do you want? I don't want to stand in line. I want a Wii Fit and I want the new Sims My Kingdom. Oh. Mm-hmm. A Sims fan, huh? Never, ever until I had the Wii. And now, really? yeah, little little Sims junkie now. There you go. And you're a big hero in our house because our daughter knows that you used to work for <laughs> EA and, and she's just fascinated by that. I didn't work on the, 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 the console <laughs> versions, so. though. Correct, but there she's you still, you're like, the hero. <laughs> okay. Oh, yes. It, it's very, very important. Actually, I used you the other day. She didn't want to go to computer lab. <laughs> and I said, well, you know, Craig, you met him. And she said, the guy that worked for Sims. <laughs> I said, yeah. He had to learn a lot about computers before they would let him anywhere near the games. <laughs> And and it got me about one more day of her going to computer lab without oh, complaining. So thank you for that. <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, it's good to have game geeks around sometimes. <laughs> I uh, uh, and I can I can speak highly of the Wii Fit. Yeah. Um, I can't. Do you have one? I I can't show any results, but yes, yes. Oh I do have one. yeah. And uh, you actually get a pretty good workout. I mean, it's not like a really. Uh, good like aerobic workout but Mm -hmm. uh, some of the like strength training stuff is is actually pretty decent my Mm -hmm. mom said that her trainer yells at her if she doesn't show up for two days she'll be like where have you been or i don't know what she says but she gets very upset with her if she hasn't been there for two days it's very true i need and i haven't i well but you also need to you need to like go and turn the the computer on so it's not going to find you like like the schools Mm. do no, it's, I know it's right. <laughs> you yeah, you have that to. would be even more effective for me though if I could give it my phone number and have it call me. Where have you been, Cammy? It would come it, and play. It would be a great feature because you know the first couple times that the trainer uh, yells at you, it's not necessarily a huge motivating thing to mm-hmm. get you back to get yelled at the next you, time. You know you're not going to yell uh, unless uh, you show up. Yeah, I mean my my trainer's probably got a pitchfork by now. It's been <laughs> months since I've stepped on that thing. I want to do the. <laughs> The uh, what movie was that? That was one of those Tom Hanks movies. Um, the giant piano? No, the old, <laughs> old movie with John Candy, and he goes and plays racquetball with John Candy, and Candy's smoking and he's familiar. drinking. Yeah. Um, it's the it's one with Splash, with, Splash, oh, yeah, Splash. Oh, Splash. Yeah. And John Candy's like smoking and drinking, and they're giving a workout, doing, and he's talking about Swedish porn. That's my plan. That's my plan for workout. Of course, John Candy is not with us anymore. Yeah. I don't know if I would Maybe model your yeah. workouts on anything. Oh, come on. on anything, we have John to have Candy. anti-heroes in this world, don't we? <laughs> we do, but we also but need to have some I mean, every cop wants to be dirty, Harry. Hey, come Dr. on. Well, who would do the show with me if you died from smoking and drinking and playing racquetball? <laughs> well, first I'd have to take up smoking. That would be the start. And racquetball. <laughs> but, you know, we're looking for sponsors. <laughs> and I was just thinking a big, giant, long cigarette in your hands and go, you know, I'm Cammy Chaos and Four out of five doctors recommend um, this Virginia Slims <laughs> over their other products. You know, like they used to do the old uh, NBC shows. You're totally yeah. stealing that shtick from me the other day in the bathroom as I was talking to you huh? about the <laughs> <laughs> announcer ta- the f- stopping the commercial to talk about the cigarettes. Yeah, yeah. You're stealing my shtick. No, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Look, uh, what's his name from 60 Minutes? He's still alive. He's got a pacemaker. He did all those cigarette commercials Andy back in Rooney? the day. No, 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 the other guy. <laughs> Dan Rather? I don't know the other guy. No, uh, you know. No, who? Uh, you know, the, the, the guy. 60 Minutes. The You know, the the guy, the old guy, he's really old now. Who? I don't know. It's like, like the all, 60 Minutes guy. They're described all, all old. Of 60 Minutes. <laughs> <laughs> the entire cast. Oh, jeez. <laughs> They're not going to sponsor his son, you now. His son is uh, on Fox. I don't watch Fox. And he's old. I don't watch Fox. No, Fox someone in the chat room. Mike Wallace. Thank oh, you. Mike Wallace. Uh, yeah, yeah, he is old. And no, Ed Bradley is not with. No, Ed Bradley's. Ed, don't, I don't kill know. off Ed Bradley. I freaking love Ed Bradley. Yes, it's Ed Mike Bradley Wallace. with his little earrings. He was the guy who did those cigarette I love Ed Bradley. Yeah, Mike Wallace. I like Ed Bradley. That's what podcasting needs to turn into. 
At Bradley? Used to be, no, like the early days of television. I agree. Old people with But without hour. smoking. Yeah, with people, people smoking cigarettes no. and dialing in Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz at home. <laughs> Lucy, Desi, we've got you on the screen. What's going on now? <laughs> well, Mike, or actually, I think that was um, that was Edward Edward R. Murrow. I think did that show, like Face to Face or some crazy show like that. It's okay that you're not. It paid old the bills, and right? You don't know what oh, he's the talking humanity. about. Yeah, you can just nod and Never smile. Mind. When he I'm goes on vacation. Like this. I'm yeah, just. It's okay. This is just to avoid Doctor Who. <laughs> you want a Doctor <laughs> Who show? <laughs> oh, I stop playing it. So what? What are you gonna do? What? Are, what, are, what are you doing this week? You're just hanging out, other than playing games. Just yeah. You know, not I, everybody takes two weeks off at the end of the year, Mike. <laughs> hey, yeah, I, mean, I will. I will have to. <laughs> not do every some work. buddy doesn't take a vacation for <laughs> the year that and then go. True. Oh crap! Oh crap! I need to take a week off. Yeah, I think I think if if given, well, we'll, we'll definitely get a few days off. But uh, I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that nobody else will be working. It sort of makes us makes it more difficult for. Yeah. Must have to do some of the things that we need to do. Oh man, it was a. I was at work today, and it was it was like a ghost town, man. Uh, you it was like that. that's actually the best time to go to work. Yeah, because you go to work, and everyone's no one's there. Because you can one either concentrate and get stuff done, or not do anything. Or just screw and nobody's around. Gonna exactly. Care. Yeah. Exactly. It's, it's, it's the it's ideal. Like me, I just save it up for the the you know the the thanksgiving holidays and the christmas holidays and i'm gone and no one's there right you should really take the middle of summer off when everyone's working hard I'm like, oh, okay i think it should be like europe Six you know they weeks. take like a yeah they take like a month off for easter these people haven't seen a church in centuries <laughs> i mean they got churches around they're like oh you mean museum down the street the historical building yeah exactly yeah. they take the summer off and when was the last time you saw the inside of a church dr normal um, I don't know a lot. I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm agnostic. It really doesn't matter <laughs> to me. I'm just, you know, in point of fact. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. Th- th- you know, these people have, you know, and, and of course now we're in a bad economy. So all these jerks are going to be like, you guys got to work yeah. harder. Yeah. It's or, like or, the rest or. of the world is eating your lunch. It's like, screw you. You know, <laughs> the American worker is like actually pretty productive yeah. i don't know i don't think they're going to be using the down economy to off. give us more time off sadly yeah mm-hmm. exactly yeah yeah some people will get it without asking for it yes and i'm sure yeah. they'll be thrilled <laughs> they won't get paid while they're absolutely taking time off tickled pink. i'm telling you you got to get on the billion dollar bailout bailouts with congress <laughs> just sit up in front of there going do they have a billion dollar Tulet. podcast bailout? i bet you if you get one senator hooked on tunelet <laughs> It, you're you're done. We you're there. That. We got that in. It, one guy. I mean, unfortunately, Ted Stevens is gone. You know, he'd be like the tubes, the tubes. Oh, and the cartoons on the on the, <laughs> on interwebs. the, on the interwebs. Oh, the tubes. look at that! I can send the cartoon right down the tube. God, of all you the know? politicians that we would want endorsements from, I don't think Ted Stevens is yeah. anywhere on that list. He might be doing some time in the book. <laughs> so you know, he may have some good stories. They may make exactly. some good comics. He, he might have a lot of time to be doing Ted some tunelets, right? Yeah. I see a whole series of prison tunelets. <laughs> he's going to be sending white collar <laughs> prison tunelets. Yeah, he's going to be sending tunelets to. You uh, need to get some bars to the to hammer down in Texas. Put over the. We really do. We yeah. kind of have something that's like a staircase that kind of almost looks like bars, but it's not good enough. Yeah, I have to correct that. You know, work on that. I have really like to go into tunelet and try to find stuff that's not what it is and try to make it something else yeah when i was first trying to do the tattoos yeah how are we doing on that with the art packs and stuff are there more in it did we get the animals there's some animals there's some animals we yeah. don't have like a proper animal pack yet yeah um, oh to build like a, an animal as a character Yeah, because it's the animals, no they have like though. animals as accessories though because and there are some some uh uh sort of animal geared parts so you can sort of build but up a dinosaur animals. pack. Oh man! Yeah, that'd be kind of tough though, because we have yeah. we sort of have this the we're geared for the you're human geared shape for the right the now. human shape. Well, then yeah. you could do like oh, a T Rex. Anthropomorphic. Yeah, you could kind of, a T Rex. You could kind of pull little, off. Yeah, a brontosaurus. Well, no, but I think you could pull off a T Rex. So you just put it. the dinosaur head on top of a human body. Duh, that works. <laughs> yeah. It's a cartoon for Christ's sake. Put him in a business suit. That would be good, huh? A T Rex torso would be kind of yeah. cool, actually. Yeah. The little arms. Have to have to give put it a that. candy cane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got to be careful what I wish for. Nine Always like if I had more nine time out of ten, on my hands. Tyrannosaurus Rex dentists say candy canes are bad for your teeth. Yeah. 
You can't eat the other dinosaurs. You have dinosaurs in a law mm-hmm. office, all wearing suits. You know, I don't know. It sounds very uh, far side. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, you know what? I That's... cut my teeth on the far side. I yeah, love the far no. side. Come on. Who doesn't? Yeah, I mean, far side. Brilliant. When I was in college, um, uh, far side wasn't even. I mean, it was syndicated to college papers. So it's like the PSU, you know, newspaper had the Gary Larson far side. They had Bloom County. Wow. Oh, and of course, oh, Callahan was at PSU. He was going to PSU. You'd walk past him in the hallways. Who's Callahan? So, oh, Callahan, man. The, our, 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 our big famous uh, comic strip uh, uh, a guy from Portland, Oregon. Just, just, how do I just not know? Google it. How, how, yeah, how would you describe Callahan? Um, Messy and snarky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm ashamed to He's say a, I, don't, I yeah. don't recognize the name. Well, we'll, what's the name we'll have the, to hook What's you. the name of the strip? Uh, I think it's just Callahan. Mm-hmm. Really? It's in the, was it in the Willamette Week still? Oh, boy, I think I Callahan's in the Willamette Week still. I'm yeah. going to rectify that immediately. Yeah. yeah. Interesting I guy. I should know these things. At one point, I heard Robin, Robin Williams optioned the story of his life because he's paralyzed in a wheelchair and uh-huh. had an interesting, very colorful life. So, hmm. but, um, but yeah, Callahan was there and there's a couple others, but, uh, um. It's good stuff. I mean, classic stuff. Like the classic Bloom County is the classic. Yeah. I would cut them out. I mean, you're in college and you're so messed up <laughs> in the head. You don't know what's going on. And then you see this comic and you cut it out and you stick it, you know, to your, your door dude. or your locker and you just stare at it and you go, that's me. <laughs> oh, my God. You know? I'm so glad I met you when you were in your 30s. My, my, my favorite one, one of my favorite, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to get into this. This is all a visual discussion, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. I, I just, just stopped at the bookstore the other day. I was looking for um, holiday presents, and I found a pack of 20 Opus postcards. Ooh. I totally bought it for my brother. Oh, that's excellent. He doesn't listen to the show, so it'll be fine. <laughs> so you can spill the beans. Totally yeah. spill the beans, yeah. yeah. Uh, I see Doc Normal's looking. He's like, why didn't you get it for me? Mm. Yeah, 20 mm. Opus postcards. <laughs> Yeah, Opus was rock, Opus is yeah. awesome, but I can clutter up my brother's house and not have any guilt about it. But if I give you twenty Opus postcards, they're in my house somewhere. <laughs> you know, maybe with digital ink in the future, you could actually subscribe to user generated comics through Toonlet. Like you have this digital ink, like like the the Kindle, right? And you have your own newspaper. Yeah, and then you. Oh man, did I give this away? Jeez, man, I got to charge for this. <laughs> well, they already have well, so a subscription have the, feature. Yeah, so we have we have yeah. um, subscriptions and uh, and we have follows. You can yeah. follow and be followed by people. Mm-hmm. And if you follow enough people, I follow a tremendous number of people. And when I so when I go to my my follow section, it it reads very much like a like a very customized Sunday funnies mm-hmm. um, where you know it's you know, oh, five, awesome. five or so uh, yeah of the latest strips by the people i follow just show up on each page and page it i think there's probably 150 pages that i have now so i can just keep reading. i used to love the sunday comics They're so did i kind of crap task they suck <laughs> i don't well i haven't looked at them in ages but last time i looked at them they were really i was like god where's all the stuff i love i think there comes a point in every person's life where they realize that kathy and garfield are just not funny <laughs> no kathy, and, no yeah. how kathy's like 75 now yeah. it's like uh, honey get funny over funny your weight in the way okay that kathy was not yeah. ever funny and you're like god why does she still exist yeah kathy not funny ziggy not funny no, no. speaking of comic oh it's uh, the peanuts. peanuts yeah uh, oh yeah <laughs> so i mean we've got all the you know the i know the peanuts and the the box set and the rankin and bass you gotta check out the Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer and all that oh, crap, yeah, man. That yeah. crazy stuff. Yeah. So I mean, it's a great excuse to have a six year old and go, "Oh no, I gotta get this right." <laughs> Actually, we forgot to bring down our holiday movies. We're gonna do a holiday movie segment. They're they're. Uh, I'll have to. You want to run and yeah. You want me to run and get them? And they're in the bedroom. You can talk about Doctor Who or something while I'm gone. <laughs> do you want me to keep playing this, or do you want me to? Get can you make of this? it go away? Okay. Yeah, just. <laughs> Nick's I downloaded name. holiday music MIDI files. So let me get the holiday yeah. holiday movies because really? that's what we perky. wanted to talk about. On vacation and perky. It's amazing. Live show. Have I mentioned? Perky. <laughs> and on vacation. 
and cheerful. Okay, so <laughs> he says we can talk about Doctor Who while he's gone. So okay. yeah, so something something he's gonna leave wants to leave it on a good note because all he ever wanted to do as a child, his goal was to play Doctor Who. Really? Yeah. Oh, good for him. And so now he's been Doctor Who for like three seasons. Yeah. Well, and he's got to go. Can pack it in. Yeah. The the latest rumor I heard was that Catherine Zeta Jones is in line for the Doctor. I hope not. And it was it was it was her or one of the guys and i'm assuming it's not the the fat guy from uh little britain hmm. i have no idea i have just i'm just part of me really wants to know and part of me is just like uh, just want to wait for the regeneration because when when christopher eccleson regenerated i was upset were you really i was just like what like one season i thought it was a pretty decent doctor i enjoyed it, it was, i really I mean, it did how i cut my teeth on the series but See, I watched a few when I was little. I watched the Tom Baker ones, most notably when I was little. But it didn't really grasp me until I was watching the new one. And I was so pissed off. They switched doctors. And I was just like, God. And then I'm watching the episode where he changes over. And I'm like, God, he's obnoxiously familiar. I'm trying to figure out why I know him. And I can't. It's just making me crazy. And it's the very end, he's changing into his suit, trying to, you know, try on his personality, his clothing as the doctor. And he licks his teeth. And I'm like, he's the evil bad guy's son from Harry Potter. He's Barty Crouch Jr. from the Harry Potter movie. Really? Yes. Because he spends so much time morphed into that uh, Brendan Gleeson. You only see him a few times, but he played Barty Crouch Jr., now I'm going to have to go and watch all the Harry Potter movies again. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It was very disturbing to me when I actually realized it, and I had to go from evil bad guy to Doctor Who. <laughs> how does he How does he do as an evil bad guy? It's kind of hard. Very to, well. Evil. Really? Huh. Rotten, even, and just despicable. I'll have to check that out. Yeah. It was really, really good. So who would you like to see? What would your hope be for a new Doctor? God, you know, I... I I I'm, I still kind of still feel new to the series, so mm -hmm. it's it's hard for me to really kind of uh, have an informed opinion on it. Like I, I I like the the two doctors that I've seen so far. I'm sure they'll find another one too. I'm clingy. I can cling to the whole David Tennant thing. I cling to the Christopher Eccleston. So I'm just I, I'm kind of like I know they'll do a good job, but well, it, do you have anybody in mind? Is there no. like somebody that okay? So no, no, we're in the I'm same boat kinda... there. Yeah, it's kind of, you know, it's not like when, when they try to get a new James Bond, I am usually very opinionated. Uh, but I'm not. I don't have a... Oh, Jesus. Jeez. Jeez. A lot of holiday movies. Dr. Normal. Wait, some of those are not holiday movies. He has a different opinion of what a holiday movie is <laughs> than other people. But I have to say that this all started with the fact that he loves... No, no, no. The we're going to review the holiday movies. He loves the movie Gremlins. Uh -huh. So I bought Gremlins for him. And gave it to him as an early Christmas present because I wanted him to be able to watch it before Christmas. And so two days later, he comes home. Not This is not the stack he came home with. The stack he came up with is much smaller. But he came home with a stack of Christmas movies because well, I had gotten Let's start with the obvious ones, which, by the way, I can't find where all the holiday movies are. So so here okay. you've got here you've got this, right? Okay. We've got um, the, the Rankin and Bass Holly Jolly Christmas Collection. Which is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Santa Claus is Coming to Town, Frosty the Snowman, Frosty Which is Returns, animated and not claymation. And The Little Drummer Boy. Yes, Frosty the Snowman's animated and not claymation. Yeah, the other ones are claymation. Go with claymation. Then you got the Peanuts, which I couldn't find. You've got the Christmas Story with Ralphie. Christmas right? Story. Oh, yeah. Way in here. They're right? in so, alphabetical it's, order. It's classic. That's a good one. I have them alpha. And I you're going to have to put them. them all back in alphabetical order because I worked for a day, maybe... Okay, we have too many movies. I worked for two days alphabetizing <laughs> And then the you movies. got this one, right? Um, for the kid. Alvin oh. and the Chipmunks. Alvin and the Chipmunks. I just thought for the that. first time I've today. never seen it. Is it? I've uh, never seen it. it no. It, it's okay. I mean, you know. <laughs> then I had to have this one. This is a classic. I'm sorry. That's a classic right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Chevy Chase Christmas Vacation. Christmas Vacation. Yeah. Huh? Huh? I, like I mean, we all like cat food right? in our jello, don't we? Mm, not me. I don't, you know what? I don't even know the last the third, time I ate That was jello. the third one, right? Second. I think, so. I think it was the second. I think it was the sequel. Yeah, these the aren't original. even. And then, mm -hmm. but Europe, then it was European. European vacation was the third? I think, yeah, okay. Well, you, you could, what is, uh -uh, what is, uh -uh, Christmas you vacation is the third. Was it? 
I'm pretty I sure. Think, really? I European so. came before that? Yes. Yeah. I just, I, I love Christmas Vacation. Okay. I like the first one. Um, uh, and then we Can have, you please, the, I mean, there's a... And we got this one. You said you hate this. I but hate that I thought movie. the kid would like it. <laughs> Home, Alone. Home, Home Alone. Home Alone. Yeah, I just, um, honestly, I think that, and there's not to be any laughing, I think that it shows um, creative and manipulative violence by children, and I just don't approve. Yeah, but it's, and Macaulay Culkin was a great actor. That's me. I like big violent movies. Right? Cute kid. No. Anyway. um, Um, He's a better actor than he's a ballet dancer. That's what I have to say about him. Well, is he a better actor than that kid who played Star Wars 1? Yes. Oh, there she goes. Yeah. <laughs> we don't want to talk to Star Wars. And then, no. and then uh, along, because isn't that, I think, home, is Home Alone a John Hughes movie, yeah. right? So the other John Hughes movie, which we have, but I don't have it here, is Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Mm, about a guy getting, that yeah. would be, otherwise that would known be as the, the Rick Terosi story, That'd trying to get home from P-section. Chicago for Christmas during a <laughs> We need to teach you your alphabet. Okay, I want to see the big black box. I want to know there why that's am. a Christmas movie. Okay, someone already did this in the chat room. Now, now we get into the real stuff. Die Hard. Die Hard. Christmas movie. The original Die Hard. It is a Christmas movie. Alan Rickman. I guess it is, isn't it? I love Alan Rickman. That was an awesome role. Alan Rickman it, was great in okay, that Okay, I'm sorry. Have you ever seen Alan Rickman in something that he wasn't great in? Yeah, he was actually pretty good, wasn't he? He actually pretty made, much carried, uh, um, was it uh, Dogma? Yeah. He, and Robin yeah. Hood. Really? He was in the Robin Hood Um is that the with one with Kevin Brian Adams who Bri- sang Yeah, the- yeah, everything I do, I do it for you. Really? That guy, you know the Brian guy Adams I hate? Brian Adams was at the Aladdin last month. You know the guy I hate? Um, the actor I hate? Are you guys going to sing Who played Robin that? Hood? Hmm? Okay. Who, I don't know. Um, Kevin Costner. Kevin Costner. Somebody said they, like, anyway. Okay, whatever. He, he made the movie <laughs> Next, watchable for Okay, him. so Die Hard. you got to watch Die Hard okay, at Christmas. Die Hard, Because it's a Christmas movie. And Lethal Weapon, an part one. awesome Christmas movie was Lethal Weapon. The original the first one. Weapon. Did that take yeah, place? It takes yeah, place, it, it takes place, place at Christmas. At Christmas. Oh. But he got me the quadrilogy because when I was pregnant, I had a thing for violent movies. <laughs> and I watched, uh, I think I had the video cassette of Lethal Weapon 4, and I watched it constantly. Is that the one with Jet Li? Uh, yes. Uh, one of them, yeah. Yes, I've Lethal Weapon one. 4 is the one with Jet so Li. So it's, it's worth watching? Um, I don't know. You know, if you like, I guess if, if you're you like, pregnant, like buddy, you're laying if you in like bed hot buddy action fi- flicks, which I happen to, uh-huh. then yeah, it's worth watching. Okay, I'll check it out. So, so le- the original Lethal Weapon. Yes. And actually, a uh, point of trivia, I think Mel Gibson goes to a, a Christmas tree. Yes. Area. Uh, Anthony Kiedis's father. A- Anthony Kiedis's father <laughs> is actually one of the character actors that Mel Gibson. Wow. Whoop, mm-hmm. Whoops ass on. Mm-hmm. I, yes, I we know a little bit too much. A- yeah, yeah. I have, and he vast didn't didn't he appear on like uh, Growing Pains or Silver Spoons or one of those something? Shows I think so. One of the from, yeah. Uh, from What's way this back one? when. This is the uh, one. And, and then the we we, we mentioned that before. Great yeah. holiday Christmas movie, Gremlins. Yeah, Gremlins. We're thinking of having a, a holiday. I love the story that Phoebe viewing. Cates tells about her father. I think Gremlins. this is a, that's a film that's ripe for another installment or think reboot so? or something. I'd like well, to, they I'd did like they did a Gremlins too. Can you too? not open that? Yeah, right but now? that was I'm like, like that was you. like 20, 20 years ago, twenty five yeah, years it's true. ago. It's true. I want to. I, I want a new one. Okay, what else we have, Doctor? So, um, I'm still curious as to why that one. So I. Uh, so I'm just I'm thinking of other things I would watch during Christmas and. This is a good Christmas movie, huh? Fargo. It's kind of like delightful. Well, first of all, we love the Cone Brothers. Everybody yes, we loves do the love Cone the Cone Brothers. Brothers. Fargo, great Christmas movie. Doesn't I don't know if it necessarily takes place during Christmas, but a lot of a snow, lot of snow. Mm-hmm. And a lot of ice. Yeah. Uh-huh. And a wood chipper. And yeah. yeah, you know every good Christmas story needs a wood chipper. <laughs> a wood chipper. Good, good movie. All right. Um, since we talked about Mel Gibson, yes, and Lethal Weapon. I would just suggest, you know, I think it's summer in Australia now, but, you know, uh, what about the original Mel Gibson Mad you're, Max? You're not Wouldn't this be too a great far now. Christmas movie? Isn't like Christmas in the Apocalypse? So, one point, there's Christmas, Christmas in the during Apocalypse. Mad Max. Pretty much to me, Christmas morning, Apocalypse, same thing. I think. And that's not even the Road Warrior. That's the. That's no, Mad, Mad, Mad Max. Max. Yeah. yeah. Mad, Mad Max, Max, man. Okay. And that's the original. That DVD has the original undubbed. The actual oh, sound. So that. You know, the, dubbed the, his the Americans voice. can't understand because oh, they thought they couldn't understand his accent. Yeah, yeah. and they gave everybody kind of like these southern accents, from what I yeah, recall. Yeah, it was lame. really bad. It was very lame. Really. Now bad. we talked about Bruce Willis in Die Hard. 
Um, and I was thinking, there's snow in this movie, too, and it, it would make a nice holiday flick. I haven't seen it in a while. How about a little 12 Monkeys, a little oh, Terry no, Gilliam? There, I actually think that there is some Christmas you stuff that goes on. You every day of Christmas. Yeah. I think 12 there, Monkeys. I do. I think there might be some holiday stuff in here. And it's it's Terry Gilliam, and let's face it. he. You could almost watch any Terry Gilliam movie. Because there's whimsical. Wait, doesn't there's Time a, Bandits? Uh, yes. There's oh, some, we have Time Bandits. But that doesn't that there take place at Christmas? I think it? It, it opens in Christmas. I think he's might, really? I think he might be right. Uh, maybe. Mm. Yeah, you know, to me, anything that Terry Gilliam did is uh, really, he's a Coen Brothers lover. You go for Gilliam. Yeah, I do. I, do. So, I mean, I like the Coen Brothers, but so we had Bruce Willis. There's a whimsical part of me that really we had the early Mel on. Gibson. Yeah. Yeah. Um, not the apocalypto. Okay, the Aeon Bruce Flux does not qualify. No, 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 wait, 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 don't call me out. <laughs> Look at don't that. call me out. There is no way. <laughs> no. Christmas movie. How does it, because I got it for you for Christmas? Aeon Flux would be awesome to watch at Christmas, this is huh? not, in any way, and we have to know, this is not the craptastic Charlie's Theron, it's, it's the no, original MTV, MTV, liquid television. Very, yeah, very good. Yeah. That was a I great don't know how you, I don't series. know how you tie it back to Christmas, though. Seems a reach. Um, yeah, a reach around. I mean, <laughs> women this wear skimpy leather outfits and that's only carry your weapons Christmas. at Christmas. That's only your Christmas. Every episode. I know. <laughs> okay, because it's hot. I want to see how we're gonna the black box. I'm being nice and I not saying it. I mean, when you're it, drinking but... a hot toddy and you're wearing your Santa hat and <laughs> you want to just get hot with an animated character. I don't hey, know. Doctor Normal, come on, let's. <laughs> Well, we missed one of the great. So we've got Bruce Willis, we've got uh, uh, Mel Gibson. We missed one of the great uh, action heroes. So <laughs> since I just got it in this buy, why not Harrison Ford in Blade Runner, which is a phenomenal I, the remake. movie? It's a great. I, I just and I think it takes place during night. Christmas. I think the replicants. I think there's a new scene in that movie where have the replicants. Have a jolly, jolly replicant exactly, Christmas. Exactly. Exactly. Well, they have memories. They're implanted, so they would have memories of Christmas. Okay. Wouldn't they? If they move along. The yeah. Yeah, move of course. along, move along. Sean Young's like, I remember okay, come Christmas. Come on, but don't make me out the big black box. You better keep well, moving before well, I yell it. Well, because Blade Runner is a Ridley Scott film. And because I got he's you great that for Christmas director. one year. Um, I, I would have to say, I just got the box set here, but I would have to say the Alien, the original Alien movie, um, is a great dusty. Christmas Christmas film. People, I'm getting frustrated with my husband. Um <laughs> You because, better have another because Christmas I think there's like there. a, I think there's like a, a little uh, flare or something. What are the, those when two? When the chest Come on. burster comes out. Or something. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody! There are some yeah, there's yeah, some, like uh, Christmas baubles in the in the chest well, cavity. <laughs> I just grabbed these because they were in the pile. They have oh, nothing to do okay, with Christmas. Never mind. So so never mind. um so this is a good one. The blue that is planet. a really good We got movie. that one at the aquarium. Yeah, yeah. It's I didn't nothing. Know that one. Although oh, it's, it's it's creepy. It's like um, it's a nature film. Yeah. yeah, they were playing at the aquarium when we were there last time. But this little guy right here has a light hanging off of his head. That's very that, that's very oriented. Christmas. The angler fish. It's yeah. crazy. Um, yeah, our daughter's fascinated by uh, that by like that. The scariest fish. looking thing I've ever seen. This whole video is pretty scary. Really? Yeah, but awesome. The anger, angler fish is something. For yeah, there's a, they go down in the deepest depths and look at all that weird. They shit. have a whole bunch of of glowing fish i mean there's like a ton of fish that glow yeah. and translucent and all that weird stuff and yeah and then this one just came out because <laughs> it, it has nothing to do well, with you know Christmas, what it is is and now <laughs> the you dark night came out i had so. a pile of movies up there that were all movies yeah. i needed to put into the movie I couldn't database find the ones I wanted. yeah i i had a i had a stack of movies to put in the movie database so, okay and now you've add to the up. list add to the holiday list oh, man I, but what we, are you gonna watch over gotta, the holidays that is a good question. I just got uh, my. I got a bunch of Netflix coming that came yeah. in today, so I got uh, Wally, which oh yeah, uh, any Pixar oh. films got to get. Have you seen Wally Christmas. yet? Oh yeah, it's so yeah. good. Times that already. actually would be. Is that out? That's out on DVD. Yeah, it just came Ooh, out. Did we get that? <clears throat> it has been purchased for the child. Yeah. Okay, yeah. not yeah. by yeah. me. <laughs> yeah, it's a great film. Yeah, um, that would be a good one. Yeah. What I'm else? A big fan of all the Pixar stuff. Uh, do you like else? a lot of violence? I do. I yeah, do. yeah, good. Um, You're in America. I, I mean, you know, yeah, that's yeah, good for you. I've been uh, weaned on that. In stuff. Europe, we might Thoroughly put you in the counseling or something. But, but uh, you know, I yeah. like violent movies as long as they're rated in such a way that children are not watching them. You know what? I almost picked up mm -hmm. when I was at the video store. A violent movie that you yes. know I would love. What? Um, and I didn't pick it up, and I might go back to get it. I don't have a copy of 
chow yun fat's hard boiled oh, oh we need that. yeah i have the killer yeah. and i can think i can't think of a better christmas movie than chow yun fat in hard boiled <laughs> mm-hmm. i mean think about it there that what is it uh a better tomorrow 2 i believe has oh yeah has seen that, it seen it the, yeah. the the steamed rice scene yeah <sighs> yeah yeah, that is cinematic. A very, that's I oh got. I haven't seen that one in years. Yeah, me either. Yeah, but, it wasn't that like kind of the sequel of Hard Boiled, or sort of maybe not, but it was. It came yeah, after. It was, yeah. There, well, I guess there was a Better Tomorrow, and then yeah, a Better Tomorrow too. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah good, good Hong Kong uh, violent uh, cop action flicks are, yeah. are really good for the holidays. Nothing that warms your heart more with the family, you know, around the fire and, and watching <laughs> Chow Yun Fat just and some gunplay amazingly unload like yeah. you know 20 magazines of, of bullets I'm, through his gun with without reloading slow motion with gloves no. exactly yeah yeah i'm trying to figure out why other holidays don't have like big movies around them halloween right has some you'd have all the slasher and halloween yeah. Hmm. Maybe we should go contrarian and watch the original Halloween during Christmas. <laughs> little Jamie Lee Curtis action. I don't watch. Yeah, I don't like horror flicks. Yeah, I like really they're... violent movies. I don't like horror flicks though. What about porn? Is there any good porn for Christmas <laughs> holidays? You know, there's got to be some good. Uh, um, we should just ask Wizard Boots. Wizard that. Boots. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm sure he could recommend uh, something. Some you know, good with Christmas elves. titles. No. Okay. Now you're just creeping me out, and you're starting to act like Mr. Fabby. So. <laughs> So what else, what other movies did you get? Oh, man. I can't recall. Do you know what you should watch? What? The BBC's latest version of Robin Hood. Really? Mm-hmm. I've been seeing those commercials and I've mm-hmm. been ignoring them. Oh, it's, I tried so it? hard. I tried so hard to ignore it. Seasons one and two are out on DVD. Season three is being filmed. Okay. I'll yeah. check it out. Oh, I really wish, I, I kind of almost wish I hadn't seen it because now I'm just like, Come to me, season three. There is something beautiful about, you know, like sitting down and watching three hours of a show and having another 12 waiting for you. There really, really is. It's a the, good thing. The sheriff is awesome, and, uh, and, and Guy of Gisborne is also awesome. I've got a, um, like a recommendation, a TV mm-hmm. recommendation. It's a, it's a British show, so I don't know how easy it is to find here. You may have to go onto the internet to do it, but there are four four seasons of a sh- of a uh, a show on BBC3 called Ideal. Ideal. Ideal and it is about a uh, a Mancunian drug dealer. Uh he sells pot and uh it's just it's really good. I got into it and uh this is a BBC thing. Yeah. I I've been Netflix. watching a lot I've got a friend BBC at work shows. who's just like you know if he can't get it legally from the bbc he finds a way yeah i mean it's like just we do not condone the illegal no (laughs) reception of bbc some 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 thank you (laughs) what was that joan crawford you were doing there for a minute i have no idea that was my manly voice (laughs) <laughs> Mommy Dearest would be a great Christmas movie. I'm, I'm sure you know there's what? some Christmas never, scenes in Mommy Dearest. I've never seen that movie. I never want no, to. Oh, it's the wire hangers. I baby. never. It's wire hangers. I never want to. Oh, she's a great mom. <laughs> she sat on the board of Coca Cola. Did she? Yeah. Really? yeah. So if I sat on the board of Coca Cola, why do that I know would these? A great mom. <laughs> I don't know. Was that in the movie? Uh, yeah, it was actually. Oh, okay. Well, there you that, go. That's that. why you know this, <laughs> these are not movies that you should watch. I used to watch. When I was younger, I used to watch HBO like late at night. And, mm-hmm. uh, it's a lot of crazy movies. Yeah. Manhunter would Manhunter be a good, uh, a good, uh, you know? Mike is that Michael, Michael Mann? Mann? Yeah, <laughs> the original, not the uh, Red I like Dragon Manhunter. with the other, not the remake, but the one with uh, William, uh, William, I was, um, William Peters. I have an idea. Maybe you should CSI. try watching some of the movies that you haven't seen yet. I'm going to. Like you know, you've never seen The Illusionist. Yeah. You know how much I love that movie. Have you seen Illusionist? Is that Christopher Nolan? Uh, is yeah, it? I think so. Yeah. The guy who did Batman. Batman. Yeah. 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 Is yeah. it Scott Christian Bale? Or... It has. Um, no. Uh, Edward Norton uh, and Paul Giamatti. Great actor. And Jessica Biel, who I'm not a fan of, but she's serviceable in the movie. Oh, um, God. The show's turned into a... It has. It's turned into a movie. So what, You're the I one guess, that brought the big stack I know. I guess what I'm getting at is what, like, to me, Christmas is like you sit down with your favorite movie, like The Godfather Part Two or whatever, and then you just... Like, no, that's get, an anniversary movie. Okay. 
But I mean, is there something? Is there something you watch? Uh, yeah. I don't really have a Christmas tradition because I wasn't I wasn't uh, yeah. brought up uh, observing it. Exactly. So, uh, it's like uh, Chinese food, I guess, is my Christmas tradition. There you go. <laughs> well, it's like uh, we Ralphie usually and his we family. usually have gumbo. Yeah, uh, that's very true. Yeah. yeah. I, I hadn't really pieced that together. Yeah. Wow. Because that's technically uh, it's sort of a, a Jewish thing. Mm-hmm. Like every Jew in America goes for to the for Chinese, Chinese food. On nice. Is, is nice. it because it's open? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. I've <laughs> had plenty of years where I had Chinese food for dinner on Christmas as well. Uh, it's tasty. I mean, I it's, always like it's, Chinese. Food. <laughs> it's an excuse to like sit around and party. <laughs> um, yeah, when you take out the religious component of Christmas, it's an excuse to Christ- sit around. <laughs> Christmas of Christmas, whatever. it is. It's yeah. It's I, whatever. I don't ever recall celebrating the religious aspect of Christmas in my entire life. Yeah. Ever. <laughs> no, you didn't. Uh, yeah. I did. But you now did. I'm just like, eh, it's the winter holiday. Eh, it doesn't matter. We got time <laughs> off. Let's go watch Chow Yun Fat and Hard Boiled. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Man, now I want to watch Chow Yun Fat. Yeah, and yeah. Boiled. See what I'm That's, saying? Yeah. I mean, think about the holiday spirit. Yeah. Right? Mm. You know, rather than going to the Walt Mall and seeing it live, you know. <laughs> Oh, yeah, malls are bad. Let's not talk about the malls. <sighs> <laughs> oh, look. It's 1140. Is it? Yes. Actually, that's so not true. Else? I lied. It's 1137. So, Craig, I mean, is there anything just burning just on your mind right now? Uh, no. Other than the snowpocalypse. The snowpocalypse. The snowpocalypse. Is kind of fun. Yes. Like, I'm, I'm looking forward to tomorrow's snowmageddon i'm like looking yeah you know it's supposed to like really fall i as long as i'm home i'm looking forward to getting snowed into my house it was supposed to really fall because we did we did costco (laughs) shopping we've got groceries we have we have wood we're we're ready see that's where you're smarter than me because i'm expecting it and i have not not a morsel of food in the house oh that's no which is not smart but that's cool though it's cool until I'm Hungry. roaming the yeah. streets, you know, like looking for, <laughs> for That's why you have to gutter. watch Mad why Max and the Road Warrior and get inspired. Go eat their food. That's survival thing, man. <laughs> Pretend it's like, you know, Armageddon and you're like out there. Terminator would be another good one, by the way. Terminator's great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. but then you kind of get into the whole, you watch Terminator. Okay, and then you watch Terminator 2 and yeah. it's fine. And then you're like, oh, should I watch no, it's the other okay. 17 look, Terminator look, movies? I've got that Alien box okay. set. The one more. I thought there were two more. There's going to be another one. Oh, that's what uh, I was thinking. Yeah. Well, and well, then look, there's the, the, the Sarah the Connor Chronicles. Yeah. The, Otherwise, I, I call like. it the Sarah Chronicles. I do. I, I couldn't Chronicles. watch the third one, the third movie, uh, but I do watch the Sarah Connor Chronicles. Yeah. yeah. I saw the third movie, but... Because it's, it mm. it's on Hulu. If it's on Hulu, I'm totally like... <laughs> I'm such a Hulu junkie. I and I was too. late to the game. I just... I'm going to I'm gonna actually give a, a little product endorsement now mm-hmm. for uh, a piece of software called Boxy. Mm-hmm. Um, I've heard of this. Oh, it's so good. I haven't. It I've heard of Boxy. Is, um, so, so Can basically, you spell it? B O X E E dot net or possibly dot TV, and um, I think they're they're in alpha now. It may be closed, but um, uh, I think it's easy to get get invites. So what it is is uh, there was actually um, Xbox Media Center for the original Xbox. It was like a homebrew project where they opened up the Xbox, they cracked it. And they turned it into a, a media center. Mm-hmm. And the code's been kind of kicking around for a while, and they've been working on it. And so I guess the Boxy team decided to basically take the code base. Boxy.tv. TV? Yeah. Dot TV. Um, and it installs, you know, it's basically just an application, but it turns, you know, whatever computer computer you're on, I, I have it on the uh, Mac Mini upstairs in my, in my bedroom, and it turns it into this, you know, this really, really excellent media viewing. So I'm trying to think. Service. There was there was another <laughs> one, uh, open source. Um, now the name Myth escapes TV. me. It, which one? Myth TV. Myth. Yeah, there was yeah. Myth TV. So there's that, which is which is a DVR, okay. and um, is very good. I've, I've I've always wanted to to install it. I haven't gotten around to it. I've tried and failed a couple times, but um, yeah, you um, and me both. Yeah, and it's 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 but people I know who do love Myth TV. Yeah, it's supposed to be really great. Um, but you know, you have to set it up. You have to get the hardware for it. Boxy just just runs, and so what it's what it's doing is basically saying, okay, what if the internet was your Mm. TV solution? And they're not saying that that you know they're not trying to really get content from 
boxy, they're saying, let's let's give a better interface for Hulu and let's give a better interface for you know CBS. And uh, is it an interface with Juiced? Uh, no, it's mm. it's uh, it's 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 standalone. It's you know in their okay. own thing. So, in in addition to you know like scanning your hard drive and showing all your music and your movies and stuff like that, there's like this a media internet selection. Does. Yeah, where it's basically just an aggregation of all of these all of these uh, big channels. Uh, so it's a good solution for feeds. somebody who's starting trying to go without cable. I canceled mm-hmm. my cable subscription I'm getting, yesterday. I'm getting ready to. That's oh. my my New Year thing. Is I want to get rid of our cable it's a, subscription. It's a scary. I haven't been without a cable subscription in a while. I'm really freaked out. I used (laughs) for an excuse for a long time. I'm a little, I'm a little worried. Yeah, but you're getting Netflix. You've got Boxy. You've got the internet. I mean, you really can live without the damn. And you know what? Go get your government coupon and go down and for twenty bucks get your digital TV tuner for the live. HDTV. Well, so, I, so when I had DTV. A, a job that paid, I bought a, yeah. a really large TV, mm-hmm. and um, and so you know, like I've had high def and, and everything, yeah. and it kind of gets you, um, like once you once you've watched a high def signal, you don't want to not watch a high def signal, right? Right. Um, so there's like the over the air stuff, which is good, and I've uh, and uh, so like I'm thinking. So about you're getting maybe, over the air now. I, I will. I haven't set it up, but but you can theoretically. You've got should, the TV that'll do yeah, it. Yeah, it'll do right. it. And in fact, actually, they make software now, which I ordered today. Um, that's basically TiVo. Mm-hmm. It's the actual TiVo software with the remote yeah. and everything, and you can just install it on a PC. So I had kind of um, mm-hmm. I had a PC left over from. Uh, when I worked on uh, Spore, and it's it's just kind of sitting there not doing much, so I'm, I think that's going to become my Tiva mm-hmm. <laughs> slash box. See, that's the thing. If you just have time to hack your own solutions, I mean, Myth TV's been out there for years, yeah, and you can do this. I mean, you you can take an old Xbox. Yep, there is a lot you can do, and you can kind of wean yourself off of those big cable companies that. Hey, I'm I'm totally willing you know, to wean myself off of the cable as long as you don't complain about my television watching habits. Oh no no no! I'll be happy about that. I used my daughter as an excuse for a long time because yeah. I like to get the <laughs> the commercial free kids programming. But you can get it in uh, the digital TV, correct? Too, and there's more channels, correct? I just got to print so. out that government coupon so I get the thing for twenty bucks or whatever. Give me my it is. government coupon. Hey, you just go up there and print it out. I'm a little confused. What? What f- commercial free programming is this? Well, no, no, I don't think it's commercial free. Oh, it's well, just the digital. So when when you oh. have cable, first of all, the on OPB demand. signal is very good. You get on demand, which yeah. has no commercials. Okay. Right. And there are certain channels that um, in the early part of the day, they play commercial for younger children, or they play television for younger children, and they don't put commercials in it. Really? Yeah. Like when Disney Channel in the morning, they call it Playhouse Disney, and there's a commercial between the shows but during the show there's no commercial break that shows amazing restraint actually yeah to not market yeah, to no children. Kidding. yeah that's like unheard of actually and so i really appreciate that because i won't let her watch anything else unless it's been t-vote so i can fast forward commercials because i just i cannot stomach what happens if she watches one regular programming and there's commercials it's just like she's marketed directly too and she's just like did you know and i saw this and can i have Uh and this food and i'm like do you have any idea what's in that food she's like (laughs) no i've never even heard of it and i was like yeah there's a reason we don't watch commercials so yeah yeah. exactly it's a good good option to have correct but i'm willing to the boxy tv boxy Boxy tv TV. i so get heartily so it just so happened that i had a spare mac mini sitting around oh, yeah. and so i just put it on the mac mini and it automatically works with that little white remote that you know comes nice with. it's just perfect it's just it. i'm loving it yeah it's very good so i feel a little you know what i'm like breathing a little more easily sitting next I to someone who appreciates cable their bill. cable and who has done what i'm about to do it is, it's, it's scary tough. yeah so well the, the way cable works is they you go all i need is this that's all i need and, they and so say, they go, well, okay, you great. Can't. You well, have well, to have no, all no, no. This. They give you, they give you that, and then they keep raising the price, and they go, oh well, but you know what? If you paid a little bit more, we'll give you this. Yeah, because you're really getting crap right now, and we keep raising the price. So if we raise it even more, then we'll get. And you're just like, oh, stop! It's just TV. It's just a boob tube, man. You and know? they, they did. They actually got me. So, so yeah. technically, I've, I haven't canceled my cable. 
Mm-hmm. I've just downgraded to the to the most basic package, mm-hmm. right? Because it was it was uh, like two dollars more than that's kind of what we than had. what I would have paid for yeah. not having it at no, all. No, we have we don't we have the second most basic, basic. expanded or whatever. yeah we've we've got the one that we don't have. So you that. just have basic um, or basic expanded. Well, right now I have a lot, but yeah, yeah. come January seventh, I will have. Well, I'm not even going to plug it in. Yeah, because it's not high depth. Because <laughs> well, because if you have basic, if you don't even have, if you just have the basic local channels and stuff on cable, you might as well go get that DTV tuner and hook it up to your TV. Yeah, I mean yeah. it's because they give you like I don't know twenty channels or something, and it's half of it's crap. Yeah, like I need the jewelry channel or whatever the hell that thing is you right? know what really convinced me to go ahead and, and say all right bye bye tv what i need is the geek well, not toys bye bye channel. tv but bye bye hey, Greg, there's a start of 24 <laughs> 7 was Next it one. when yeah, they exactly. when they finally put the full episodes of the daily show on hulu i was like all right that's the thing that has me worried the most because i need my daily show yeah, full and episodes like on a, Hulu the next day. Is it the next day? The yeah. very next day? Okay. Which is when That's we normally be... watch it anyway. Cause exactly. Because we TiVo it and watch it the next day. Ah, uh, okay. Because uh. I, I won't sit through anything. That's the one thing that TiVo has done for me. I will not sit through commercials. Oh, yeah. I just, I mm, have... no, I can't yeah. do it. There's no way. Oh, <laughs> you, could, you could put your commercials in pop-ups like, oh, on this podcast, on this stream, which is actually which what they're happens. starting to do now. Yeah. I, I will say that like Hulu and stuff has me watching commercials again, which well, I'm not yeah, happy about. But it's a 15 second commercial yeah, or something like that. That's true. So. Still, like, like TiVo conditioned me to the point where like I can't sit through Correct. the opening segment of a show. Oh like, yeah, I credits. don't either. I don't watch the credits yeah. either. It's just, it's, yeah, it's it's bad. <laughs> Unless it's an old 70s sitcom. Then no. you have to sit through the credits. I don't sit through credits uh, at all. One no. time. The first time I yeah, watched the show. And exactly. Then, uh, just oh, so I know And that's that also the there. DVD. That's also DVDs. You get a DVD. <laughs> and the first time you watch the show, yeah. you see the credits. And then you're like, okay, I'm done. And occasionally I'll go, oh, did they change it with the season? Like, Robot Chicken, <laughs> you stop to see, did they change it for season two? That's a good show. Just yeah, because I saw it in the chat room, you have to sit through the credits for emergency. Mm-hmm. See, I'm just saying this is because... Is Gary in the room or something? No, but... Because I've it, never watched Emergency. The, the thing is, is everyone's giving me a hard time because I try to shut down your Doctor Who talk, but they all realize that when we start talking about classic old UFO. TV and all this crap, then 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 it's fine. So they, they realize the double standards we have yeah, on the Yeah, well, look at that. Yeah. We're, we're running out of time now. To exactly. Talk about emergency. <laughs> That's fine. No, we, we really are. We, I know. We've had an hour. So I have a question. Uh-oh. I have two potential um christmas songs queued up the james brown christmas song uh-huh. or the original christmas is santa's time song kind of a takeoff on which which one do i queue up which one did the christmas is santa time a little bit more the elves sing and not the not the james brown one you don't want the james brown one. please okay. no. now we should say that the elves are a little bit you know down on the whole alternative lifestyle thing <laughs> Yeah, can we not play either of them? Why don't we play Deb's song? Because that's all naughty and okay. fun and politically you know correct. What? You're right. Yeah. That's a good point. Let me go Thank find you. it. Talk amongst yourselves. I should that's I should point. mention that we did finally receive one submission for the Holiday Song Contest. Good. I noticed that on Twitter. So what we were supposed to do is we're having the we're Holiday Song Contest. We are going to announce the winner. So wait, I am prepared to announce the winner. No, 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 no. no. Ca- wait, wait, wait. Because I think there's someone else who's trying to get in on the deadline. Oh, never so mind. we might actually do they it. They have next eleven week. minutes. Oh. Boxing day, or during the week, we might do it during the week. All right. Well, so don't don't because that's I was going to announce based it. on the tweets. No, no, just okay. Just, uh, uh, you're right. So are you going to play the song or, or we're going to play last year's, year's winner? winner. Uh, okay. What you talk about? We had a song contest last year. We had a the chaos holiday song contest, and we had two categories. We had the nice category, which was anything that was nice and appropriate, and we had a winner. Um, and it was called Rudolph's Second Song. And it was about Rudolph stubbing his toe. And he was unable <laughs> to make the deliveries. And so Santa asked the Chaos family to dress up like a reindeer. Oh, that's very cute. And uh, fly around the world. Who who wrote it? Uh, Joe Bouffoy. And then we had the winner in the naughty category. Oh, wait. Are you, 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 you're friendly with Joe Bouffoy? Mm-hmm. I did not know that. Yes. Ah, she makes wonderful strips on Toonlet. Yes, she does. Yeah. She makes wonderful strips on Toonlet. Uh, I had no idea. She's a doll. I love oh, her. That's, that's good. And she she was the nice category winner. And then the naughty category winner was a gal called Deb on the Rocks. 
Who I, also sounds familiar. Um, we've had her on the show a couple of times. She tweets. Uh, I don't think she makes too much, though. So. Yeah. yeah. Um, she should, though. She should. Boy, if there's anybody who should have everybody should, though. Yeah. Everybody should. <laughs> yeah. If anybody should, it should be Deb. <laughs> I need to, yeah. And so, is it queued up? It is queued up. Okay, so we can we can play out then. So this was last year's winner in the naughty category. In the naughty category. Is this is this how we're leaving the show? Or? Yes. Yeah. Oh, can I do something before? Yes. You absolutely because can. Because uh, as long as, as we're talking about music, um, I don't know if you've seen this. I don't know what I did with it. But have you seen the Ocarina app for the iPhone? <gasps> We've heard of it. We have not seen it yet. We've heard about it. Let's 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 go out with a little <laughs> Ocarina before yes, we before I agree. we do this. Um, so Ocarina. If you have an iPhone, costs a dollar, mm-hmm. and I don't know how how well you can see it here. I gotta check But it's this just out. these four little four little things on on there, mm-hmm. and wait, oh. It actually works. You blow on it. Yeah, it's a real musical instrument. Cool. Yeah. That is awesome. So, and and here's the better part. Is it just four buttons on there? It's just four yeah. buttons, but apparently that's you can get all twelve notes, I guess. And then there's this mode that is global mode. And mm. if you, I don't know that the, they can see this, they but can hear this it. is everybody in the world right now who has this application. Oh look! Dun, dun, dun. Wow! Oh my Christmas gosh. songs. So anybody who's playing this this application right now. It'll just broadcast it globally, and there's a little. Wow. And there's you can't really see it right now, but there's a little uh, globe here. You can kind of spin the globe, and when somebody plays, it it shows it, and it shows all the notes and everything. One of the most amazing apps I've seen that is for the phenomenal. iPhone. Phenomenal. Yeah. Very cool. Ooh, somebody hit it. Oh, sour yeah. note. There. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's switch it back. Yo, you in New Zealand? That was a bad note. <laughs> no more ocarina for you. <laughs> we actually had a um, at Cyborg Camp. Um, uh, John Nastos, I believe, is his last name. A fan of the show, um, actually. Um, play, and he's a jazz sax player and a geek and a, and a techie guy by day. But uh, he played a couple gigs with Mel Brown last week, um, and he brought the Iwi, which is the electronic. Uh, uh, Yamaha made them years ago, and it's basically like a wind instrument synthesizer. Oh, And he yeah. played it, and I believe Podcast Hotel posted that clip. Um, I don't know if he posted the video, but at least the audio or the video. Um, and I, I want to go see it. It was really fun. Okay. He, he came up because I was doing the sound. He's like, can you plug this in? I'm like, oh, well, we got wireless. This will work. Okay, let's plug it in your eighth-inch jack. Went up and just played some stuff. You know, it sounded and it's like the a thing. It's just like a straight tube, but it looked and it. Yeah, but it's, it's like, it's a, like sax, a sax, and you yeah. play it like a sax, and it sounds like a mini Moog or yeah. something. It was very cool. That is very cool. cool. And podcast and, hotel. Post- yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So go check that out. That's uh, my. I've got to go check that out too. So, anyway, so we're gonna take you out with um, last year's um, naughty winner, naughty winner, the Cami Chaos Christmas music. So let me cue that up. Thank you so much for joining us on the show. Thank you guys for having me. I'm glad you were able to make it into the studio. Yeah. Yeah, it was great to have you here, yeah, man. It's great we got to do this person. again. We will. Yeah. Another time. And and there's not so much, you know. Yeah. We'll have to do the live one. Right? We'll have to do the live one where everyone's like live like we did at uh, Cyber Camp. So. Yeah, that was, a, that was a fun podcast to listen to. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Well, have a good holiday. Oh, yeah. Good night, everybody. Yeah, good night. Yeah, good night. Happy holidays. Lifting up my skirt My knees are on the dirt My bottom is so white Cause I'm a tease I'm a tease Punish me, oh Santa sweet Cause I'm a naughty girl Punish me Black belt's my treat. Please send me round the world. Belt so polished black. Please give me one more smack. My ass is glowing red. To lead the way. Sir, I'd like some more. My stinging bottoms sore. Bright enough to guide your sleigh to 
Black belt's my treat. Please send me round the world. 